Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at the output options in Adobe Audition. All right, in a previous tutorial, I showed you how to go from Adobe Audition right to Media Encoder. Now I wanna show you um, how to export out in the other ways. First of all, you can send any timeline from Premiere Pro over to Audition. Now, it's not dynamic link, so you still have to render from Audition back to Premiere Pro, but it's still incredibly useful. Let's go have a look at exporting out the whole multi-track and individual files and all of the options. So here's a multi-track session that I have in Adobe Audition. There's a multi-track menu where you can export and also file menu export. Both contain the same thing. For instance, we can export out to Adobe Premiere Pro and it's gonna create a .xml file, which is basically a Final Cut Pro XML that Premiere Pro understands. So all of the different um, elements in the multi-track go over to Premiere Pro. Now you do have to process the effects. Um, the effects need to be uh, applied to each one of those clips or to a track before it goes. So you can export each track as a separate stem. Stem meaning one file, multiple stems will come out of this. So if you've, it, you know, track one has all this dialogue, that's gonna output as, as one file, but with all of those applied. You can mix down the whole session as stereo mono or 5.1 and then open that in Premiere Pro. That will recreate this session in Premiere Pro with the effects applied. Um, you can also export this out, as I mentioned, right to Media Encoder. Um, we can go directly out to that XML format from here. OMF is for people that are working in Pro Tools. Uh, this would take it out to Pro Tools. So th those are all the ways that you can get out of the multi-track session. Uh, what about a single file? So a lot of people will have an individual clip and they need to export this out. Again, you need to apply the effects in the effects rack. So if you've got something here like the Dynamics Processing, Audition will warn you that this needs to be applied before you can export the file because it's, it's not done yet. So you click apply and now you've applied it and now you can export the file. So you can export individual files by going to the file menu, export, and you can see it at the top as a file. Um, first of all, we can name this anywhere. We can locate it wherever we want. And then we've got a number of formats, starting at the top, AIFF, uh, very common with the Mac crowd, but this is a good format for straight uncompressed audio. And the Windows equivalent would be um, a Wave. Waves work both on Mac and Windows. So if you if you export this out as a dot .wave file and give it to a, a Mac user, they're not gonna have any problem. In fact, any of these formats, except some of the Windows specific formats aren't gonna be a problem. Um, Monkeys Audio, .ape format, uh, Dolby Digital. I just wanna show you when I click in here, you'll notice a lot more options. And if we click on change for the Dolby settings, there's a lot of settings in here that you can pick to export that out. There, there are no right and wrong settings of, uh, of, of these. It really is up to you. Now I do have a separate export on 5.1 that if you're interested, I'll put that in here and you can go watch that. It goes through every single option. And some of those options may seem odd, but what Adobe does when they're supporting something like Dolby Digital, they're supporting it as Dolby has written this specification. So they'll follow every single one of the guidelines to make sure it's blessed and works uh, perfectly. There's a uh, lib sound file, which is uh, for exporting out a C library. FLAC, AUG, um, Windows formats, MPEG-2, AAC, MPEG-2, MP3, and WAV formats. So if I wanted to export this out as an MP3, I could change, right now it's, it's 48K 24-bit, but if I wanted to, I could come and change that to anything I want. I can just leave it same as source. 
Um, you could change the channelization, so same as source, or I could force it into mono stereo or 5.1. Um, you can also change the overall bit depth, so if you knew you, were, you wanted to go into 16-bit, you could be exporting this out at 16-bit um, at the same time. Um, so the same with the format settings. Each one of these is going to have a different setting specific to that particular format. So when I'm on MP3, the format settings are um, accordingly. If I have this set on wave and go to change, then you'll see slightly different settings in here that pertain to that. And from there, you can export that out, include the markers and other metadata. It's going to give you an estimated file size and hit OK, and you've exported that file out that easy. That's all it takes. Um, and once you have those files exported, they're just files outside of, Premi uh, outside of Audition with the effects applied. Like I mentioned, if you have effects in the effects rack, you will be warned that you have to apply those before it goes out. All right, so a lot of people were asking me, hey, how do you get the stuff out of Adobe Audition? It's that simple and easy, and Adobe takes care of a lot of the default settings for you. All right, hopefully you found this informative. Um, if you have, then take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us a little more, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you sounding and looking your best.